本节目由玩得酷、靠得住的飞猪旅行赞助播出。Up there is Changsha Star, down here is Changsha City. Win credit for Hunan's cross dock. Happy New Year. City and the galaxy echo from afar. Everywhere is loud and exciting. Everything is running fast. Lights are shining around. You know what? Out of thousands of rice noodle restaurants in Changsha, the one downstairs is always the best. Mei Li Liao is a Hunan girl who loves Changsha cuisine while running her own restaurant. She never ceases to explore every street, looking for more Changsha cuisine. Round noodles, wide noodles, flat noodles, soup noodles, gravy noodles, sauce noodles. Rice noodle is every traveling Hunan people's nostalgia. Down there is Yuelu Academy. Before Chinese New Year came, Cheng Yi, along with Wang Jing, came to have a taste of the hustle and bustle of Changsha. Try this. This is my favorite stinky tofu sugar oil cake. The moment you smell it, you'll know it's special Hunan flavor. And this is our Hunan flavor. It's also the flavor I've been missing for long. Welcome to Alaska. We're now exploring the coniferous forest in the North Alaska. We're figuring out how to realize the magic. As a physicist, college teacher, music artist, TT is well-rounded and is called the Doctor Strange of Changsha. New fashion and tradition mixed together, scholar atmosphere and overbearing spirit colliding. Here it's hot and heavy, but cool and lively. Welcome to the city that never sleeps, Changsha, the city of star. Chaozong Street, one word wall. Chaozong Second Road, Sanqing Street, Four Square Field, Wuli Street, Lu Duizi Street. Here is the center of the city: Mawangui, Tianqin Pavilion, Yuelu Academy, Iwenting Pavilion, Dufu River Pavilion. When I get old, I will come and play chess with them. Have some tea. Having been busy acting for the past few years, Cheng Yi finally decided to have a break. He took his friend back to his hometown and launched a journey of restoring energy. Bet you never tasted this. Never been here, right? Never. Let me introduce. Rice noodles are round or flat, or wide, and there's noodles. Order your favorite one. You can add some toppings. When it comes to Changsha cuisine, the once reserved Cheng Yi can't help show his smile. Take each of them. Can you eat that too much food? On the plane, I told you I'd been saving my stomach for this meal. Look at my first meal in Changsha. I've been waiting for this bowl of noodles. Well, that lady server has a sense of humor. She didn't put the noodles in. She just put in toppings. She got careless. Bai Sha Street. This is an old street. We'll walk through the old streets first. Get down to earth. We're in the alley now. We met the sound recorder of the city, Long Qing. And got to hear the old Changsha. I want to record my own sound by giving her my key to copy. Lady, how long have you been doing this job? Ten years and more, almost twenty. Learned it from my master. From your master. Effortless, right? Talking to random people, even in the holiday, Cheng Yi keeps experiencing the way of life. You come over here. Let's have a talk. You like playing this? Your parents might want to give you one buck to stop you from playing this. How did your face turn red? You feel cold? Yep. Yep. You're a funny guy. Did you eat? No. How well do you play game? Which game? Which game? He's so cute. You play a bunch of games? What? I don't understand. What generation gap? Bye. Don't make me embarrassed. I was in a TV drama, The Imperial Age. I played a devil of chaos. I was surrounded by kids. I hung out with them every day. The kids were so cute. After several months with them, I genuinely felt like they were so good at acting. Born to be good. I feel like that's amazing. I take this as life observation. Right. You could see that. He would make a look on his face before answering. Wow. Here you came. He was in your school. So your younger schoolmates. Could you do me a favor? What favor? There's two ladies who asked me to ask for your autographs. Now you're asking me a favor? Not too long ago, no. I want. I remembered. I tried to talk to you, and you cold shouldered me. Do you remember? Like half an hour ago. Tables turned so fast. I can give you two autographs. Do you want them? Do you? But I don't need them. He doesn't need them. He just needs to play games. He just needs to play games.
I used to ride this when I was little. Look, those still exist. I used to ride this when I was little. They sell all kinds of things on it. There were more in the past. More than now, fairyism and romance staying in dramas. Going back to hometown, Cheng Yi just wants to bathe in the sun and be his most common self. When I went to and back from school, this was the very scene and the very vibe. If I had to choose a city that I've never been to, to be honest, I would choose a city with hustle and bustle like this. Hustle and bustle. Here at a distance of maybe 10 meters or 20 meters, you can see so many things. But if for example, we want to have our hair cut in Beijing, we can do only one thing in one day or maybe two things. To be honest, I don't like the life I'm living. We can go to many places along the way. Barber shop is right next. Next to it is coffee shop. There we can buy some food. Snack shop. Very convenient. So comfortable. Skyscrapers. Actually, they look no different in many cities, right? I think you've brought me to a nice place today. Very nice. Skyscrapers standing among, with the convenience of busy streets, to Chengyi. Changsha is such a city that makes people feel happy. With a computer and a synthesizer, TT can create a universe. This is Synthesizer. The funny part of it is that it can create almost every sound based on waveforms. In a mathematical way, it creates sounds. For example, generated now is a sine wave. Sine wave sounds good, right? It can easily makes people meditate. Then we connect this to here. Writing his own code, soldering circuit board, making synthesizer, unlike scholars in common sense. TT is an urchin scholar who applies scientific spirit to creation. Science is his wonderful language to express himself to the world with enthusiasm. In the drawers are many of my treasures. First take a look at some cool things that nobody has seen. Screws. Not edible. Never seen these, right? Then we got something cooler. Nuts. Forget about these two. I'm kidding. Most are sensors. All kinds of sensors. The way robots interact with human is realized by sensors. For example, the most common one, GPS, Global Positioning System. This one is called GPS Module. It can track your position at this very moment. And then this one is NFC, Near Field Communication. Mobile Payment, Mobile Unlock, are done through this. Payment methods like this can easily be cracked. Here's something funny, Lillipad. This thing can be put on human body, like when you make those outfits. I made an outfit before. Those outfits can 24-7 monitor your body temperature. And then this will give out light according to your temperature. The way those outfits give out light is realized by this little thing. Like if I have high temperature right now, or in a bad mood, then the whole outfit will give out red light. Or if I'm in a good mood, then it'll give out green light. Once there was a time, when I don't want to talk to anyone, I will communicate with them in this, in the color of my outfit. This little thing, can realize that. When it comes to all kinds of small inventions, TT is not like a college teacher. He's more like a kid talking about his favorite toys. For this thing, you can't tell what it is from the outside. They all look alike basically. All your invention thoughts can come true. This one was made by my son. My son made this. He had a little garden. This thing has been left in the corner for long. It's called Timid Organic Farm IoT Board. That's because he had an assignment for summer vacation. 
assigned by his teacher. That required them to do something handmade. I was like, let's make a farm. So when kids were doing paintings or just a paperboard, we were spending our whole summer vacation on a farm, including fully automatic irrigation, fully automatic, like the recognition of sunlight and the roots of water and the soil, the nutrient for soil. Nurtured by TT, his son Baby T is also a little geek. He utilized automatic agriculture system to plant a thousand pots of succulents on the balcony. Finally, he refined a bottle of essential oil and handed it out as a hardcore result for the assignment. Called Baby T Zhang's organic farm. His teacher was impressed, I thought. His teacher was also my student that he knew about that. Oh, he's your student. He had many ideas. Why do we have so many tools at home? People would come to my house and say, what a little factory. But when you have any idea, you have to take actions and realize it. Because when you pop up new ideas, and then you realize you first need to buy tools online, and there comes preparation work here and there, and you're like, oh no, leave it. Like sometimes when you think too long or prepare too long, then you'll lose interest on that. But Chansha people is not like that. When you think of something you will take action immediately. For example, when you want to eat something, you have to go immediately. Which makes Chansha a place where you can find food everywhere. In the inland city Changsha, there's an obsession with seafood. Flavor crayfish with heavy oil and spice is eaters' favorite. They can a Yuelu mountain of crayfish in one night. My favorite Mwangdui. Right before New Year's Eve, Meili and her husband came to Mwangdui Seafood Market for stocking. This seafood market, we come here since we started dating, we're still not tired of coming here. To out-of-town people, Mwangdui is always related to cultural relics. But to Changsha people, Mwangdui is also a seafood market, the stock origin of eater-loving crayfish. When you come here in summer, you're impressed by the sea of faces. They have like 100 vehicles and more. That kind of three-wheel vehicle. People unload seafood shirtless. Customers wearing four golden rings. Pack lobsters quickly and wrap them with tapes quickly. Happy New Year. Maybe they wear ordinary clothes and walk in galoshos or look like peasant women. But what they're doing is high profit business. Meili has been in Mwangdui for 15 years. She went from an eater to an owner who stocks seafood. Hot and heavy Hunan flavor shapes the enthusiasm of Changsha people and the overbearing spirit of going forward. Without the fierce cooking fire in countless restaurants at night, Changsha city that never sleeps would lose what's special. During Countdown's Eve, Meili received tons of orders on her six phones. Here, the thing is, when there is an order, our chef will start cooking. Your order will be delivered upon completion. But because it's Countdown's Eve today, there might be traffic jam on the way. Please keep your number straight. Our delivery man will call you as soon as he arrives. Happy New Year. Make another bucket when this one is done. You can't wait until there's order. Otherwise, there would be no time. I can't do slice skills. I can do anything except for that. You'll master it effortless. I don't know why. Maybe I have talents. In the past, I used to be a chief editor. I worked at office. I used to manage the department and employees. Meili used to work as a hospital worker, a counter saleswoman, and she became a food reporter because of love for food. She went from loving food to marrying her interviewee and launching a restaurant after marriage, staying late plus night snacks. She has gained a weight of over 30 kilograms over the years. We can say that Changsha cuisine has reshaped her whole life. Like the spinning you play beside a river. We are not romance person. Since today is Countdown's Eve, we'll spend it naturally together, in the least surprising way. Now, Shi Chang Street no longer exists. The place where we used to date no longer exists. We used to restock seafood. Let me talk instead of him. The first time he took me here, he was like, my wife. Oh, he said, baby, I'll take you to the most romantic place in Changsha, and also the most crowded. I was so excited. I thought it could be, coffee shop or ancient streets or whatever. But he took me to the stinky Shi Chang Street. It was so hot that day. We walked in the sun, and we shelled shrimps. He was shelling shrimps there, with my company for two hours or three. The only romance is, when doing sunbathe, he said, hot, thirsty, let me buy a coke for you. Because I accompanied him that way every day. I wanted to give her happiness. What crap you're talking? Off-duty is most romantic, because I can hold him when it's cold. They kept dating in the seafood market, working hard in the kitchen. After marriage, Meili changed all her clothes to the most fume-resistant ones. 
This is her persistent action to show love for Changsha cuisine. Do you want me to carry you on my back? No. Let me carry you. I want to walk myself. I'll carry you. The weather today is good. Cheng Yi, with Wang Jing from the kite city, Weifang, goes to the square with most people flying kites. The wind is good. We can fly it. I want to learn from you. Here comes the master. Is the kite made in Weifang? Yes. Look. Pick one. I want the Spider-Man one. This one. This is good. It's up to you, uncle. It flies up directly. We two guys fly kites here. Let me fly kites with you. Ha ha ha. Let me give it a shot. Loosen it. When I was little, I ran to fly the kites up. Then run. Run with the kites. I have no experience in flying kites. It's bad if I destroy others' kites. Wow. Look at their kites. It's different. Is that eagle one flown by him? This one. Look. He got the kite down. The two found one master in kites. Mind the string. Be careful. Mind the string. He is so flexible with flying kite. Wow. Look. I kept watching the uncle fly his kite. Uncle, you are awesome. Your skill in flying kites is awesome. It's different from us. You're just like playing a sword. Or playing tai chi. How long have you flown kites? Decades of years. Decades of years. At least 40 years. 40 years. Yeah. So, you insist tens of years. My aim is to exercise, and for my body health. It must be hard. It takes years to learn. Years. It spends several years to learn. To fly it up. Several years, if you learn it less than three years, you're not going to fly it up. I saw you act like this. Do you want to try? It's my first time flying kites. Will I break it? Will I? No. It will be broke instantly. Then I'll leave it alone. I won't touch it. I wanted to have a try. Now, I can only fly it in my dream. You have to train it well. The old man with white beard is the star in Malanshan Sports Park. He flies the eagle kite, is like flying by the wind. If it's like this, I can spend my whole day here. It's true that he is like the skilled living in seclusion that written in a Gongfu story. To overcome the strong by applying soft methods, you can't apply hard method. You can apply hard methods with that kite. To overcome the strong by applying soft methods. If it flies ahead, you take it back with strength, then the kite will deviate. I got that. He reminds me that. It's like when we are acting. It's like, sometimes we need to throw away something. Anything can remind Cheng Yi of acting, and he will absorb in it. You have to keep it in your mind, that what the real eagle flying is like, in the sky. It's the sense that you combine, the eagle with you. You fly in the sky like an eagle. What uncle said is the highest realm. It's the same with acting. When acting, we have to combine with the character, to act, and to be. Whether you are acting the character, or you are the character. If it's the latter one, when I instill the character soul, I can be flexible. I really want to take my parents here. When getting older, if you have a hobby, like exercising, it's wonderful. Children should spend less time on the phone, but spend more time flying kites. It's good to spine and eyes. Uncle, if I want to come here to see you in the future, you will be here, right? You can find me here anytime. You just need to say the place and my beard. They all tell you he is here or he is there. Months later, there will be a man flying kites on the Hengian Square. And, it's you. You will know how to fly kites. What time do you usually sleep and get up? My sleeping time is a little earlier than before. Now, to be honest, Cheng Yi, who is very sensitive to acting, has a desensitivity in daily life. When he is not acting, he is always a bit slow. He looks cute by accident. So you usually fly kites a lot, right? No, it's not certain. I spend my time more with birds. Birds. Do you have many birds in your home? I take photos of birds in nature. By photograph terms, it's shooting. Days ago, I take photos of swans by Dongting Lake. I have many kites in my trunk. All my kites are here. They are all folded. All my kites are folded. Do you like going camping too? Camping. I use a fully automatic electric lift tent. Only click the button. The tent is ready for you to live in. It's fully automatic. I enjoy the life of young people. We couldn't enjoy it back in old time. Now I'll chase it. I want to enjoy your life now. 
Then you are still very young, right? Now we can also give it a try. We will go camping tomorrow. Let's learn. I will visit you later. Older people drink coffee and visit hipster stores. The young people like to eat authentic old snacks. That is the wonderful scenery of Changsha. Bye, wish you a happy voyage. Changsha is more lively at night than during the day. The streets are filled with the sound of laughter and the smell of snacks. These days, I'm preparing a party in the exhibition, New Year's Eve party. TT and Longqing came to rehearse in Malanshan. Yilin is a radio recording artist, a few people who seem to be unrelated to music. Together, they formed a band that is not reliable which called the Sen Band. He is always like this, as soon as we agreed to rehearse, we bring nothing, just to be here, and a hungry stomach, an empty stomach. You didn't take the sound card with you. No. Is there a system extension? You're here for the food. I know that. Yes. You've seen through it. Don't rush. It will take two hours. Two hours to get ready. After connecting the equipment, we can go out for food. Longqing did not bring the sound card software. Everyone let out a happy laugh. They don't want to be bitter to make music. The important thing is to play with the right people. That's it, it's good. Now I can't see anything. Let me touch the stool. This one has a very mysterious feeling. Wonderful journey. When you find that ambient music is not enough for you, you will not enjoy it. A lot of compositions come this way. When you find what others have created is no longer a way to satisfy you, you will do it yourself. Two hours of plugging in, 10 minutes of rehearsal. Sure enough, eating late is the main thing tonight. Dongguishan is a small alley less than 1,000 meters long, but it holds up half of the night market in Changsha. Just like Tom and Jerry. Come, eat, get some meat. You have one bite too. Eat it while it's hot. Longqing has made a website, using situational dialogues to speak Changsha dialect. It's enough for foreigners to learn 40 sentences for daily use. You must speak the authentic Changsha dialect. Don't speak it to the child with poor Mandarin, because we grew up listening to Changsha. It does not prevent us from learning Mandarin. It's quite a hindrance. Listen to his poor Mandarin. I can still speak it seriously. Then you should speak seriously. Fine. Let's see if it's poor. Changsha dialect spoken by Wu. I basically do not understand. Changsha dialect is aggressive, but girls speaking Changsha is quite cute, especially speaking poor Mandarin. It's sweet and aggressive. Can you imitate a sentence? How do I imitate it? Imitate a young girl of 18 years old. Speak Changsha Mandarin. I can't make it. Try it. Give it a shot. What to speak? Be open. Unleash your nature. Come on. Brojua. Do you want to go out today? Changsha Mandarin. Poor Mandarin. Mandarin. Brojua. Do you want to go out today? Yes. That's it. That's good. After eating, Longqing continues the street cruising. He collects sound for the concert. Is Changsha beautiful? Yes. And today, it's also the last day of 2021. Changsha is developing rapidly. For more than 10 years, Longqing has been recording the sounds of Changsha. He tries to preserve some of the memories of the rapidly changing city. The presence of people is the most vital state of the street. Ahead of us is the Du Fujian Pavilion. There, there is the best place to see the fireworks. The last time we recorded fireworks should be the 2019 and the last fireworks of 2019. In addition to fireworks, I was also in the crowd. Boom, boom, boom. The lively commercial street and the smoky alley blend together. The future and the past overlap in the same space, which blend the unique human scenery of Changsha. Changsha is a city that is willing to get up early for food. At 4 o'clock in the morning, Meili goes to have her first bowl of noodles of the new year. No one was up yet. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go, Yang Sa, you get up early. Eat powder, eat powder, eat powder. It's really delicious to eat flour. In the cold winter in Changsha, a bowl of hot and warm powder enters the stomach. The pores of the whole body are stretched. Meili has written about one gourmet shop after another. Today, she is still one of these gourmet shops. Loyal diners and voluntary propagandists. Ryoji old shop on this street. Chinji, Chinji Yohua. Yang Jia sweet wine. Just this want want snack, which is the hottest shop in Changsha. I'll go first, bye. Bye. For snacks, it is a civilian thing. It is because of the development of this city. Because of these rents and prices. Some store, can't pay these. So a lot of it disappears. And then under this, is to go to Xijing Bay. Then Yang Jia sweet wine is here. I was in 2015. I was interviewed in 2016. Yang Jia, get fat, get fat. Changed, are you making sweet wine? It's so small, it's really small. I really want to get in. She can't go in. I can't go in, I'm too fat. When I first interviewed Yang Sa, he was pushing a tricycle to sell sweet wine. After being written by beauty, he opened a shop. Even the two sons came back to make sweet wine together. He may had the concept of a brand. He opened a shop, but he did not lose his own simple thing because his business was good. I think this is the most valuable thing for Changsha as an online celebrity city. Changsha Fire Palace is a place to punch in, but the second floor of the Fire Palace in the morning belongs to the old Changsha. People who eat morning tea together. Teacher Bobo is a folklore scholar in Changsha. He is also a master who writes delicious food with Meili. At first, the master and the apprentice worked hard while writing and eating. Meili has gained 140 gene. Bobo ate high blood pressure. Old Changsha is a cup of strong tea with a steamed stuffed bun. Yes, many new Changsha people are very controversial about this steamed stuffed bun and the morning tea culture in Changsha. A big misunderstanding is not a dispute. They think it is impossible to have morning tea culture in Changsha. In recent years, while opening a beautiful store, Meili still making short videos of teacher Bobo's academic articles to let more people know about Changsha's food culture. Steamed buns, especially bamboo shoots and meat buns like this, were introduced to Changsha from places like Shanghai as a kind of advanced steamed buns. Then a new way of eating is popular in Changsha. Be care of hot. I know. Wow. Changsha people put this steamed stuffed bun, sugar wrapped bun and meat wrapped bun, put it together. And then squash it. Become a big round cake. That sugar is mixed with meat. In the eyes of the old Changsha people, he thinks it's a kind of very beautiful and delicious. In fact, the city is not only a side. It's not just tall buildings. The city also has its B-side. Its B-side is these small shops, these vegetable markets, these popular snack vendors. It makes me feel that this city is very dynamic. This is Yuelu Mountain. Oh! This air is refreshing. Have you had breakfast, Brother Ming? Or eat powder? This is the daily life of Changsha people. Sugar and oil baba stinky tofu. Have you ever eaten stinky tofu? No. You should be able to eat lard bibimbap, 10 bowls at least. Changsha people can never talk about food. The childhood friend Zhong Ming came to do the friendship of the landlord. Everyone will meet at Yuelu Mountain first. The sound of a bird. The sound of a bird. Now it's the sound of water. Listen. Hit two barrels. A bucket. Please. Four buckets. That is. We can fill it with an empty bucket, right? A ULU mountain. Half a history of the revolution of 1911. Another one should be in Nanyu, Mount Hangshan, Wangxing, Kai, and other. Kai. Revolutionists, the revolution of 1911, all buried here. Although I am an elderly person, thought is a little more avant garde than them. Some time ago, I saw the concept of meta universe. Meta universe? Awesome, awesome. I think Uncle is doing that. I call my brother. Oh, brother. The science fiction. In fact, what we want to say is that progress is to find a combination between science fiction and reality. When I came to Changsha, I asked passers-by. If I couldn't find a place, ask which one how's it going. If there's anything you don't understand, ask him. I don't think this is a talkative person. I think it is more of a person who is willing to help. Enthusiasm. Nothing to worry about. He can talk to you for half an hour. Our Chinese civilization has both breadth and depth. 
I added a lot of knowledge at once, and I feel, ULU Academy these four words, Chu is rich in natural resources and talented people are flourishing, are we talking to look, I ran into this brother, look, just draw water, I was shocked when I talked, and I felt. Looking back to hundreds of schools in Changsha, ULU Mountain includes Confucianism, Buddhism, Taoism, and has an extensive spiritual world. Welcome tea for us, since you came to Hunan, you should drink Hunan tea, look at the scenery in Hunan, eat Hunan rice noodles, eat Hunan food. Sometimes, I will fail to hear others' words. Actually, it's, just like Wang said, because there are other things on my mind. He always indulges in his work, because there are other things on my mind. How to put the line? Do you think, when we, take showers, or, have meals, I will use something wrong? The thing is it's explicit, but I don't know why. Wash your hair with shower gel? I don't know whether I will do so. Like, I will do the same thing after I remove my makeup. Yesterday, I did it too. Have I washed my hair? Yes or no? I basically will ask myself the question every two or three days. My hair, have I washed it? But I, have I washed my face? Have I? I will always, like I don't focus when I do such things. For example, when we had tea last time. Actually it was comfortable, but my mind went blank. When acting, deeply involved in it. When it ends, just kick it out of your mind. Sitting here for five hours or a day, I won't feel boring. Drinking tea. Going dead mind. The next station is camping. Cheng Yi wanted to go camping for years, but he failed to do so because he was busy with acting. Ming, you haven't camped before either? No, this is my first time as well. We, you haven't either, right? We all haven't done it. This is the first time for all of us. The first time for all of us. My first camping to Changsha is with you. And we also had the rainy days, but Cheng Yi decided to fulfill his wish no matter what. Today's weather, it's rainy day. First, we need to make sure it's windproof, both water resistant and windproof. Yeah, it's like nunchaku. Yeah, nunchaku. It's nunchaku. It's right. It's always in an arc shape, as long as we fold the left side right. Generally, build the table first. We have a set of tea toolkit, huh? It essentially contains everything you need. This is for boiling tea. Three-piece set. Three-piece set. This one, please. Eh, what about the light? It's for lighting, right? Right. For kind of vibe. Ming, let's compare. Compare them. It's too bright. This one is enough, right? One light is enough. Yeah, it's enough for you. Yes and no. It depends on you. Let's buy two lights, shall we? You take that one. You get this one. In fact, I get this. No. I bought this. I can use this when I act. When buying, you should buy something functional and good looking. It's practical. It's more useful. This looks romantic. I found this, sir. Everything you introduced is pretty nice. And we buy all of them at last. Acting all the time and having few time to go shopping. Cheng Yi couldn't stop purchasing at the camping gear store. It's like go fishing. When you start to do it, you will get more obsessed with it. Yesterday, that it's the same to every activity. I almost fell in love with flying kites yesterday. You almost fell in love with flying kites? Yeah. What else do we need? It's enough. Pretty much it. It's enough. Solve. A four-piece set. What about the grill? The grill? We still barbecue today? I'll introduce a handy one to you. Like this. Let's do it step by step. He doesn't want you to grill. It's not like that. I just say if we. Let's learn how to do the first step before we go on. For outdoor sports. In general, just eat, drink, pee, and poo. Right? It's the same as indoor activities. We still need to satisfy our basic needs. Right. In my views, my personal thought is, let's not be greedy. Let's take it slow. Let's learn how to set up the tent first. I don't even know if we can do it. After we make it, we should do our, the basic things, right? If we are going to even cook, it will bring us much burden. You get it? We haven't. When we set up the tent, the meal will be cooked as well. You've made it clear, right? All right. I'm responsible for the lights, aren't I? I am the gaffer. Then I, I am the cook. What Cheng Yi bought was for the vibe, while what Zhong Ming considered was their basic needs. But for their first camping, Cheng Yi wasn't confident. If Zhong Ming could barbecue, we can grill glutinous rice cakes with this. Yeah, yeah. You have to think about it. If he cooks the pot, as well as barbecue, we need at least two cookers. Then, what about my tea? I think we still need this. Yeah. You really want to barbecue? Listen, if you grill mutton on it, the cooker may be wasted. I just want to barbecue. I mainly want to grill glutinous rice cakes. No matter how they opposed, Zhong Ming still insisted silently. He just wanted to grill a piece of glutinous rice cake. 
This is the childhood memory for every person from Hunan province. We still need the necessities. These are necessities. His most strong desire when he camps is to grill a piece of glutinous rice cake outdoor. So, you still need these. Wait, no, where do you buy glutinous rice cakes? You can have a taste of glutinous rice cakes. It's one of the specialties in Hunan province. Which one do you want? What about a bar of this? Okay, that one. Slice it for us, please. Slice it. Tea, glutinous rice cakes, meat, and grill. All prepared, hit the road. The other identity of the player TT is a college professor. He teaches quantum mechanics and game production at three colleges. To make a complicated landform with two or three static meshes, if you want to create the whole world, actually two stones are enough. For many of you, I can't rival you combined, even if I am powerful. Am I right? Do you have any new idea? Including those about games. Like Honghu, he seldom communicates with me. I beg you every time. Shall we talk? I know his thought. He wants to show me the perfect project at last. But, if you do so, then why do you need my guidance? He shares the same value with the students. The words he often tells his students are, only science, art, creation, and love can bring you passion. And passion is what your life is all about. Before the start of 2021, at the start of 2021, a scientist friend of mine, from Tsinghua University, his girlfriend is from Shanghai, and she traveled to Changsha. As she got off the plane, she said, look, the third tier city. I heard it and thought, she was trying to peek me, huh? Sure, I didn't feel good when I heard the words. After all, it's my hometown, and you said it was a third tier city. As you got off the plane, yeah. It was a third tier city back then, but as we talked, I took her to my regular place, ran by my friend, and we played the music. My friend happened to have a guitar there, so I took the guitar and played it, and the people surrounded, we didn't know them, started to sing as I played the guitar, and someone even danced. Everyone out there, all at once, we were chill and happy. She was dumbfounded by it. She said, so many people who didn't know each other had fun together. What's more, they seemed like they didn't have to work overtime. And she cried. I was stunned by her as well, because I thought she didn't have to cry. But she, it means that she was touched. She felt Changsha is a city with a lot of fun. I thought, a city without schemes. And then, when she came here the second time, I, as she got off the plane, I said, welcome to the entertaining third tier city, Changsha. No matter what other think, in Changsha people's minds, Changsha is the center of the universe. At least, Changsha's food is. I should say, dreams are not that important in Changsha. Because, in this place, happiness is more important. Changsha is snowing. This is the first snow this year. Yuelu Mountain is the back garden of Changsha people, be it happy or not. Changsha people will always come here. Yuelu Mountain in the snow is still crowded. Meili came here for the snow. Come on, bestie. Still remember when we first climbed Yuelu Mountain in order to eat that old man's sweet glutinous rice cakes. Turn around, turn around, turn around. It's so troublesome to be an influencer. You are not an influencer either, bestie. Don't talk nonsense. Artistic. Shoot this ugly. Climbing is to enjoy more delicacies. After eating this bite of sweet glutinous rice cake, Meili went for a workout in the snow. Before, delicacies helped her live a better life. Now, the 33-year-old woman tried hard to lose weight and battle with delicacies in order to give birth. Last time, you did it for 45 seconds. As you had a bowl of Lantown noodles yesterday, you should do it extra 15 seconds. Shoot me for a video. I am gonna post it on Douyin. Do you know how many people are supervising me? I can't lose this time. I am ashamed to say that. I've been losing weight for over a year. I failed every time. I even changed a lot gyms. My husband even said, I wouldn't dislike you even if you were fat. I said no. I still wanted to have a baby. I said I was too fat. It's still hard for me to deliver a baby now. I am 80 kilograms now. When I dated him back then, I was just 45 kilograms. I even enjoyed a V-shaped face. I love food. Of course, I won't have it if it's bad, but if it's delicious, 
I can't stop it. He's here, he's here. The devil's here. This is the last time my husband said, if I failed this time again, never mentioned, losing weight anymore in this life. I can't lose. We Chinese women can't lose. It's so difficult to lose weight in Changsha with a bunch of delicacies. But she decided not. She would readjust her life with the power of a Changsha woman. Rain turns into snows. The trio of camping headed in rain. Just pick up and go. Do you know that we Hunan people like to sing folk songs? Where did folk songs first come from? It means that we work here while they work there practicing the voice. Everyone's having dinner. That's how we train our singing skills. Is this your songs? If you're going to West Hunan, I will take you to eat the black pigs. My family has reared pure natural. The raised pigs are pigs which specialize in eating pigweed. You haven't eaten it before, have you? It only eats pigweed. It will take more than a year to grow to over 50 kilograms. It only eats pigweed. Its meat is particularly fragrant. What a good weather today. It's raining. Don't think so much. Camping. What a good weather today. Walk up. I didn't expect such weather. The observatory. Xing Observatory. Come to the river to see the galaxy. Is this place okay? The flat one. Look at the fog in the mountain over there. Is all over the mountain. I feel this rain. We'll stop in half an hour. Let's go and set up the tent before dark. Hey, Ming, look at the weather forecast. How long does this rain last? Let's pave this first. Let's pave this one after another is finished. Bad news. It's going to continue raining. It's going to continue raining. The original plan was to go to the small river to see the galaxy. It turns to be wading in the mud in a small river. But three good friends still enjoy themselves in pain. They work together to set up a tent in the mud. You won't admit defeat. The spirit of not accepting defeat, no. You don't. Don't say that. I don't know how. Let's substitute tea for wine. Okay. It's also finished for us. Over the years. A wish for so many years. Desire. Thank Jing for coming. Let's fulfill this wish as soon as possible. I'll bake a glutinous rice cake. I thought you bought this soft thing. No, no, no. It's soft when it's baked. It's our first time to bake glutinous rice cake. Really. This must be the feeling we get from snacks. How does it feel? Bake some more batter. Please. How's this? A little more paste. A little more paste. You have a strong taste. Let's start with something medium rare. I'll bring you one. Medium well. It's usually medium rare. The glutinous rice cake is baked. And then what? Just pat it. Put that. Pad the burnt one. You can take it wider. It's dribbling a bit. Jing, you need to eat more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hot? Definitely hot. I gave you a performance. I have dribbles three times already. Swallowing saliva. Have some. Yours. This is called do as the Romans do. Is it that sticky? This is particularly hot. Come on, my. Sticky sticky. Yes, this is glutinous rice cake. It's a bit excessive. At that time, we can dip in that white sugar to eat. Or you like salt. Put some bacon on. Yes, it's okay. Put it in here. The tooth is stuck. Soft, right, waxy. He has been with his girlfriend for six or seven years. Honestly, I haven't even met your girlfriend. Did I say you had a legend? Really? His one is really. Really? Do you think we are brothers? That's because you're too busy. You're too busy. Blame me? Every time you are. All in a hurry. I used to think. Being an actor is very beautiful. But by looking at your growth path, or after every bit of it, I think being an actor is a very fortunate and bitter career. At that moment, you spoke it's too slow. Why haven't you seen my play yet? He said, when did you act a bit of that? Boom, 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 boom. Suspense. Yes, 
suspensive. He made me belligerent, the fighting one. He said, if you could make a movie like this, show him. I said, brother, I can't just show you a movie. My grandmother is very cute now. I only watch her play now. I can't see other people's plays. I said that day, in my drama, the horse riding in that red dress, she can watch it 50 times. She said to put it back for me. How did that horse ride? Give it to me again. She said let me take a look again. Well ridden. I asked her. Do you know me? She just. You pay me back. I brought it up when you were young. I don't know you yet. Don't know you? That's not. You are the one. Watching me ride a horse. She's always been like this. It's really like a child. I'm not lying to you. She's so excited about my play. Seeing her happy. We'll be happy too. When I was a teenager. It's just because we don't have any entertainers in our family. It means studying art. Or have friends in Beijing. Or have relatives in Beijing. None. Just I arrived in Beijing alone. Carrying a bag. I remember the first time I went by train. It was the green train. It's 26 7 hours. RR 27 8 hours. I'm also very interesting. Just. When I went by train. My. I still can't buy a seat. I changed. Into that. Ticket for standing room. Don't say it then. But it was fun at that time. People squeeze people each other. Right? Some brothers and sisters. Uncles and aunts said. Kid. Come and sit down. You sat here with me. It means taking turns. At that time. I thought it was. The milk of human kindness. Beijing is too far away for us. Nobody goes to Beijing. Why did you go to Beijing? At most we can go. Hubei. For attending school. Or go to. Provincial capital. Changsha is far away. Wang, let's just talk about working hard. Every actor works hard. Every actor works hard. We actually. Tell the truth. Finally. There's a chance. Don't you want to catch it properly? That must be. The truth. We also played so many supporting role. Not supporting role. It's in this industry yeah. I know. Maybe at that time. We spent the whole year. People always say. It won't open for a year. At that time. Yeah. We've all been through. A time like that. It's just luck. That's probably what happened after all these years. It happened. So I think that's been going on. If you did. Maybe you could just say. You played. You may only be seen by others. Whatever the role. He sewed the colored glaze so well. Will there. Be any changes? Facts prove that. It's not at all. I just think this is the one I know. He is. This is my understanding of him. He's like this. There are still changes. Namely. He is more insistent. Is the feeling of being more disciplined. When he came back before. We would. Go eat those dishes with. Heavy salt. Those dishes with heavy oil. Now. He won't even eat at all. No matter how try to persuade him. How can you make fun of him? He still doesn't. I have to work. They say he's ready to live. He lived to be a hundred years old. The understanding of this personality of Hunan people reflects in him. Even if there is a setback, he will always insist. You know what? Just suffer from bitter, impatient, overbearing. Actually, I think young people should have a clear goal. Just do it. Just be yourself. Let's drink tea. This sounds like this prelude will tell a story as soon as it's heard. They're just breaking up. Farewell. Like that. It means that we need to leave after this meal. No. I mean. After this meal. I don't know when the next time will be. Actually, he said he didn't know when it would be next time. Listen. Sounds great. During more than 10 years of debuting, Cheng Yi experienced a long dormancy. Cheng Yi slowly became introverted. He just relaxes while filming. But his hometown showed himself when he started. No matter how far he goes, he still is the teenager who enjoys his dreams. At weekend, the Bansen made an appointment to give a concert in the mountains on the outskirts of Changsha. Yilin, sit in the middle. Let me try this. Take the younger brothers to take a walk up the mountain. Getting lost in the mountains is a great thing. 
You can play the free secret room. Recorded on that tree. Like there's a bird. Our expedition has set off. Very melodious. Very melodious. It's really delicious. Oh. Oh. We had a commercial performance before, which was almost the only one. It was okay that time, but everyone didn't actually leave, so it was more face saving. That's because people were still eating. They arranged a dinner or something. So they can't leave. There are also middle school teacher. The middle school teacher said you've been on the stage for two hours and you haven't got your tone? Always been there. He thought you were. Still tuning. Ambient music belonging to music similar to that in ancient China. Is to play for the bosom friend. Slowly start. It has a happy start to the new year. I can't find it. It's a mistake, right? Then shout one verbally. This, this, oh, why is this coming again? Yell in the mouth. Five. Four. It's about to start. Don't wobble. The so-called concert. The audience is only family, friends and us. Not for a living or anything, but to enjoy the joy of creation through music. This pure relaxation is the source of creativity. Changsha is really a pure city. It's easier to be with pure people. And you won't worry about what you said wrong. And you won't worry about doing anything wrong. So it's easy to find creativity. So I think Changsha people are really creative. This is a star falling from the sky. We are touching the stars in the sky. There is a star called Changsha Star. Our Changsha is an important town in China's ancient astronomy. Although I didn't see the Milky Way, I saw myself. Hometown is the foundation for us to go out and work hard. And dreams are the big dipper that guides us. Through software simulation, we can see what we should have seen today. We can see a very rare mercury at this low altitude in the West. Do one's best for what you have decided. Shine a light of your own in the vast universe. Or you can just come to Changsha. When you receive this, welcome you to Changsha and Star City. Why is it called Star City? I think it is precisely because Changsha people and Hunan people are like stars. Everyone's unity and cohesion will bring so many different possibilities and different joys to the audience. After the China New Year, Cheng Yi is ready to start again. Yi Zhou, 22, opened an electric car mobile cafe because he didn't want to go to work after graduation. Changsha also accepted his fantastic. Now he has a shop of his own. My 68-year-old father sent the stinky tofu to the shop in Posey Street every morning. 
deep fried from afternoon to late at night. Seven or eight thousand pieces are sold every day. He kept his own pot and a room full of brine tanks. For more than 40 years, Wang Wei, a paper architect, spent more than seven years walking around the streets and building his own Changsha meta-universe by means of picture books and animations. He wants to use these trendy forms. He wants to let people know about the city's past with these trendy colors. Sheng Long, a post-90s photographer, climbed all the tall buildings in Changsha after work and recorded the increasingly stereoscopic skyline. He said that Changsha has a strong urban character. People not only live in it, but also activate the city with inspiration. Kai Air collected more than 200 Changsha nursery rhymes in 18 years and published a book named Changsha Nursery Rhymes with pictures for it. Nursery rhymes have vitality and memories of old Changsha. In the new year, TT went to visit his friends who were tricked into settling in Changsha. My dream in life is to be lived in Changsha, adopted in Hunan. Did you make it? Not yet. Poetry and distance can be discussed in Changsha, because there's not so much pressure here. There is still human freedom in this place. Although it looks like a third tier city. Oh, no, no. Second tier, second tier cities. Second tier city, sorry. No, this friend loves Changsha more than TT. Second tier city Changsha. It finally go to the second tier city. Second tier city. What can't destroy you will make you stronger, right? Sister Liao. Don't give me chicken soup. You might as well give me chicken soup. Here is a knowledge of popular science. Chicken soup has much purine. I won't let you go. Meili's friend made up for her birthday. Make a wish. Having a baby. In the new year, I wish her wish come true. What's the situation? What's up? They want autographed photos. Sign your name. If brother promised you, give some face, then you should study hard. Okay? I think Chansha gives me more feelings. It is really inclusive. Chansha also has infinite possibilities. You can't always be the protagonist in the play, but you can be yourself, the protagonist in the dance of life. In Changsha, we met many lovely people. They travel through the cosmic food map every day, struggling for life. They also know how to have fun with myself. MTULU not only supports the city, but also supports the courage of Changsha people. Pepper endows the city with exuberant energy and a joyful character background. In such a warm city, people overcome setbacks with great patience, love life with free hearts, and look up at the stars with their feet on the ground.